My friends are not good. <clears throat> My friends are not a good influence on me, and I don't want to do what they do. But I can't be friends with the Chassidusha crowd because they're not my style. They're chnyaki. <laughs> no, not chnyaki. Chnyakt. There's chnyaki. That's a little bit. But then there's chnokt. That's totally finished. So I'm so lost. You should be friends with the chnyaks. And you should be friends with the uh, bad influences. But you become the influence. If you think one of your friends is chnyaki, help him. Have rachmanas. <laughs> Tsar balachayim. Help him stop being chnyaki. Because that's not part of being chassidish. And those who are a bad influence, they really need your help. So what are you so concerned with what they think and what they say? Fix it. Unless you're also a bad influence. <laughs> and then your problem is not your friends. And maybe you're a little chnyaki in the other direction. And anyway, the point is this. Whatever a person is, at this age, next year he can be different. So, help. Make a difference. Don't be intimidated by what you see. You see it, fix it. If you can't fix it, okay, then you need to learn some more yourself. You need to become better yourself. And then maybe you'll be able to fix it. But don't, don't, be, don't be frightened. Don't get intimidated. Try to make a difference. <clears throat> Why is it so easy for me to go against the Shulchan Aruch, even though I know it's wrong? You're very talented. <laughs> it's a great talent to be able to go against the Shulchan Aruch. <laughs> but let me explain something. What does it mean to go against the Shulchan Aruch? Shulchan Aruch says you have to make a bracha achreina. You don't bother. You forget. You're too busy. So you have a problem with bracha achreina. You also have a problem with muktzah on Shabbos. You also have a problem, etc., 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 right? So you have many problems. You have a problem with brachas, you have a problem with Shabbos, you have a problem with kashras, you have a problem with Lashon Hara. Too many problems for one person. You can't have that many problems. There's really only one problem. There's one problem. Do you take the Ebishta seriously or not? That's it. If you take the Ebishta seriously, all those problems will go away. If you don't take the Ebishta seriously, that's the problem. So you don't have a problem with every Sif in Shulchan Aruch. i got to tell you something really beautiful. We had a, a, a principal when the yeshiva was in Bedford. Rabbi Tenenbaum. Anybody related? Son of my hmm? His son of my He's here now? In the afternoon, we didn't go to English, so he was our, he was our, our teacher in the afternoons. And he was very mockpit. If we would start reading from the Gemara without the right Hagdoma, he would get very upset. You start reading a Mishnah. He would say, wait a minute. What's it does? Zok the Mishnah. You have to say that. Zok the Mishnah. You start the Gemara. You can't just start the Gemara. Flag the Gemara. So there's a minig that each limud has a hagdoma. Zok the Mishnah. Flag the Gemara. 
Taichd Rashi, Frek Taisras. You have to say these things. The Alter Rebbe would learn a Mishnah, he would say Zog the Mishnah. Then he would learn the Gemara, he would say Frek the Gemara. He would learn the Rashi, he would say Taichd Rashi. When he opened up the Shulchan Aruch, what did the Alter Rebbe say? After learning the Mishnah and the Gemara and the Rashi and the Tesvis and the Rishenim and the Achreinim, then you open up the Shulchan Aruch. What do you say? So the Alter Rebbe used to say, Un jetzt vos vil rotzenelien. This is all Mishnah, Gemara, Melerant, Pilpul. Un jetzt, before you open the Shulchan Aruch, what are you looking in the Shulchan Aruch? You want to know vos vil rotzenelien. Now, what does the Eibishter want? If you take the Eibishter seriously, you don't have problems with Shulchan Aruch. If you don't take the Eibishter seriously, okay, so that's what you need to fix. In different words, what is good and what is bad? For a chosid, Good means what the Eibishter wants. Bad means what I want. I want. That's not good. It's not good. Go home and listen to your baby brother or baby sister. I want to go. I don't want to. I want to. It's time to go to sleep. I don't want to. And you realize, this is very bad. This is very unholy. I want, I don't want, I said, I care, I... This is terrible. And it's not even... It's not even healthy. If a child doesn't learn that it doesn't matter whether you want, it's time to go to sleep. If a child never learns that, then he grows up to be a monster. I want. Is it right? Is it good? I don't care. I want. So what is good and what is bad? Bad means I'm too important to myself. That's bad. Good means if it's right, then I'll do it. Listen to this um, mushroom. What is a soldier? Usually we think a soldier is somebody who does what he's supposed to do. Kabbalah so. Yes? That's a soldier. He follows orders. What is the training? You know something about the training of a soldier? Where the sergeant disciplines... The training of a soldier is you listen. You got an order, you do it. It's not really correct. If you have a soldier who only does what he's told to do, then he's not a good soldier and you're going to lose the war. A soldier has to be able to think for himself. You can't be standing in front of a machine gun waiting for someone to tell you what to do. So what is a soldier? If someone were to say to you, carry this bag from upstairs into the car, you have about ten reasons that you can't do it. It's too heavy. All the way down the stairs, I can't. So many stairs, I can't. Carry it out to the car, it's raining. I'm going to get wet. Carry it out to the car. I don't like going outside. People will see me. I'm trying to avoid people. Carry it all the way down. My back hurts. I'm not... Now? Now? I haven't even had breakfast yet. First, let me eat. You have ten reasons not to do it. Somebody once saw the Rebbe walking to 770 in the rain. And he had an umbrella. So he ran over to the Rebbe to share the umbrella. 
not not a Lubavitcher, obviously. So the Rebbe was not in the Kabul. So the guy was surprised. Well, it's raining. I have an umbrella. What's so the Rebbe said to him, "Did you ever see a soldier with an umbrella?" Try to picture this. He's a soldier. He's got all sorts of things hanging from all his item, <laughs> guns and knives and bombs and hand grenades. And he's in the middle of a war. And people are shooting at him and my, things are going off and exploding. And he re- it starts to rain. He pulls out an umbrella. <laughs> so he has a machine gun in one hand and an umbrella. So you want to shoot at me, fine. But rain, I can't, I can't stand rain. It's silly. A soldier is not trained to do whatever you're told. A soldier is trained that whatever has to be done, you can do it. March in the rain. So in the rain. Like on Talucha. It always rains on Talucha. So you walk in the rain. Uphill, downhill, up the stairs, down the stairs, whatever. If it has to go up, I'll take it up. If it has to go down, take it down. It's a hot day, it's a cold day. These things don't matter to a soldier. It's heavy, it's light, I had breakfast, I didn't have breakfast. To a soldier, that's not a problem. If this has to end up over there, I'll get it there. If I have to crawl through the mud, I'll crawl through the mud. I have to run among the bullets, I'll run between the bullets. But if it has to get there, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. In other words, a soldier is not someone who just does whatever you tell him. A soldier is someone who can do whatever needs to be done, and he's not paralyzed by all these different little things that we are all paralyzed by. So you take a look, you open the Yomara, you take a look on the daf, oh, a lot of tasters, that's it, I can't. I give up, a big taster, I can't handle big tasters. I'm not in the mood today. My mind, I don't know. I didn't eat. Breakfast was no good. I'm in a bad mood. I can't think. A soldier doesn't have all these little hang-ups. So what is good? Good means, if, I, if you're supposed to do it, I'll do it. Bad means, I, 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 I can't. I can't. I'm not in the mood. I don't go uphill. I don't go downhill. I don't go out in the rain. That's bad. So, a chassid is somebody who is able to do what's supposed to be and doesn't get stuck on myself. It's not my style, not my type, not my this, not my that. That doesn't, not a problem. So, if you want to feel like a chassid, Make up your mind that after lunch, when is lunch? Two o'clock. After lunch, you are going to present yourself to the Eibishter, and you're going to say, whatever you want. Tell me what to do. I can do it. I can do it. You want me to learn and concentrate for the next hour? I can do it. Why not? I can do it. That's called a soldier. When you're stuck... I can't do this and I can't do that because I'm not, I don't feel. That's where the problems begin.